and uh, welcome Mina to uh, Let's Play Mega Man 9. Um, as you may or may not know, uh, I've already tried doing this once. I'm not sure if I'm going to delete the other two. I'm pulling out the microphone, breathing, breathing into it, but I think I fixed the problem and I felt like an idiot when I realized how to do it. I went back to my, figured out how to hook my desktop microphone so I could still do this and have to use the headset. Anyway, um, just in case, start from the beginning. This is uh, Ami, my Wii. Um, as you can see, I currently have Wii Fit in the di in the disk drive. Um, we'll probably go ahead and go over this another time, though, because um, the game we want. Here. Now, Mega Man Nine. Uh, for those of you who know or don't know specifically, is um, a continuation of the original Mega Man series after about 15 years. Um, it is done by Integrates, who is responsible for the Mega Man Zero and uh, Mega Man ZX games. So the game is pretty hard, uh, because I have read this before. I'm just going to kind of skip that. I might just leave the other videos up as a pretty much a good marker as to what not to do. Um, game start, new game. So, when we start, we have our eight robot masters, uh, including the first female robot master, Splash Woman. Um, we're not, it's not honestly a brilliant idea, I love it, but we're not going to fight Splash Chan yet. Um, yes, I do call her Splash Chan. Um, this is cute. In a story. Um, we're going to take on, just in the order we did last time, Concrete Man first. Hopefully I can do so with less dying this time. Um, now this game is pretty tough, as you'll soon see here. Um, if you don't know what to expect, this game will eat you for breakfast. So, almost with, almost with any platformer, you have to really be on your toes. Like these right here. If I'm going to try to jump over that, I'd be killed. Um, or if I stayed too close to it and got hit, I'd be killed. Either way, I got killed. Um, if you want to see a... Um, first time Mega Man player actually play this and still do really well, I think, personally, especially considering how hard this game is, um, look up Sugar Connery. Um, he also did playthroughs of Earthbound, Mother Zero, no, sorry, Earthbound Zero, Mother One, um, Earthbound, with Mother Two, Super Mario RPG, which is his current one, Paper Mario, um, Pokemon Pearl, I think is the one he did, also, not Pearl, whatever the, um, the new one coming out is, um, I think is what it is. And he's going to be doing uh, Mother 3 Earthbound 2, which will never be released out here probably. Um, sadly. As his next like, Let's Play, or well, actually concurrently with uh, Mario RPG, because they finally released the translation patch. Um, yeah, that was your freebie right there. Now it's going to get a lot tougher. Crap. Jump over the ball, go back around the ball, watch as he tries to suck you in, go under the ball, and that was easy enough, right? Now the game starts taking off the gloves. Because if you're not quick enough, you'll be sucked down the hole. And you can't stay at the far end because you'll be killed easily. At least I haven't figured out a way to stay at the far end and survive. And if you don't get past those three mini bosses, you have to start all the way back here. Don't you love that? Anyway, um... Back to talking about the game. I got sidetracked there for a second. Um, the, this is back in the days where games were meant to be difficult to beat. And this really shows it. Um, you don't have the charge shot, which has been prominent for Mega Man 4 and on. You don't have your slide maneuver, which was for Mega Man 3 and on. Um, so, I mean, there's, they took out those, which makes the game easier, and now you really have to work if you want to get through this. Um, the mini-bosses are pretty evil. Ingenious, but evil. Let's see if I can actually do this part without getting hit. Yeah, I 
did it. Okay, cool. Now the next part. Damn it! Jump too soon. Um. Let's see. Anything else really going on? Um. Oh yeah, one of the things about this game, of course, besides the 8-bit graphics, which are awesome in my opinion, if you don't like 8-bit graphics, I'm sorry, you must learn a little respect for the, um, where the game industry has come from, I say. That's just me, though. I would, I would love to see a lot of games remade in this style, but then again, I don't, I would probably wouldn't mind going back to the Commodore 64 or Amiga style, too. I mean, I've seen some of those, and, yeah, they're primitive as all hell, but you know what, they still had some decent ideas back then. And what you could do with the hardware limitations you had was amazing. But the music for this game is also really well, as in, as is most Mega Man game music. Um, Concrete Man City, for instance, what you're hearing right now is really good well done, I think. Uh, there's only a couple of songs, as with the new Mega Man game, that don't seem to fit for me. But that's for another time. Ah, crap, jump too soon. Right, uh, but this game is available on all three consoles. So I mean, it's ten bucks. I mean, you really can't beat that deal. And I died again. Damn it! And it's game over.